What's going on, Clutch? Squat! What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross. And we are in the Clutch. Hey. Back at it again. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Back at it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey. Back at it again. Yeah, yeah. I kind of messed up. Yeah, you nah, did. What's going on, Clutch Squad? It's your boy Duck. <laughs> we just did the introduction. I wanted to do it again. I kind of like <laughs> redeem myself. But you wasn't on the board. But nah, man, we about to check out the uh, everything wrong with Nick Cannon's invitation oh. uh, for his Eminem diss, and we had one of the homies, a one of the Patreons. Let to me, be exact. let me get this person's name. You know, what I'm saying you got to get a shout out. Shout out to Bailey. Bailey. Yeah. Bailey. What up, Bailey? Yeah, Bailey uh, sent this to us. Wanted us to check this out. So. We definitely will, man. If you're yes, part sir. of the Patreon squad, you get opportunities like this to let us know what videos you want us to check out. Yes, we'll sir. check it out and post it on there first before we post it on the main channel. So if you so. want to support us, man, make sure you go to the Patreon, patreon.com slash in the clutch ENT. Make sure you go hit up the homies, man. Support us and follow us on here, man. So. Subscribe. We're trying to get to 300K. Yeah, almost there. Let's get into this mode. Woo! Uh, we can't do nothing. Can't hear. Yeah. You can't do this every video. <laughs> That's because we switching laptops. So. Yeah. It's the invitation. The thumbnail for this video on Nick's channel says that Eminem is formally invited to Wilden Out by the Black Squad, even though Nick is and always has been the captain of the Platinum Squad, formerly known as the Red Squad. Also, Nick is forcing his employees to get on the song and rap battle Eminem. He has a major influence to over half of one. his employees currently. <laughs> Nick's reasoning for this is simply that he thinks more people going to Eminem on one song guarantees a W, as seen in this interview about the feud between Eminem and Mariah Carey. I feel like Mariah won the battle because she put that shit out. Uh, she put the Obsessed song out, put Gucci Man on there. Gucci was going at him. Like, it was, and like, I was like, that was well played. Not only that, but the two cast members that are featured on this song have been on both the Platinum Squad and the Black Squad several times, so I fail to see the significance of being invited by the Black Squad. In fact, there's been several episodes where all three Wild and Out members on this song we're all on the platinum squad together just say you want them on the show the whole black squad thing is completely <laughs> unnecessary and it's pissing Sinus, me off the more i think about it and even if eminem did accept the invitation to be on the black squad there's a chance to be placed on the same team as the people who dissed him which is very <laughs> counterintuitive number will be monitored and recorded check this out uh, eminem that's what i want to know this part right here he forgets to press the record button on time when he's about to talk to suge so this recording starts in the middle of this automated message and suge's voice was clearly cut to make it come in directly after the automated message stopped so why not just cut the automated message altogether? also suge Clearly, it knows who Eminem is. I understand that Suge has been in prison for the last few years for <laughs> murdering someone, but Eminem someone. has been one of the most famous, if not the most famous, rappers since the early 2000s. I'm giving this 10 cents for this bullshit. You know, I don't ever do no talking, but Nick and family, this show even takes me to prove to everybody else. What you about? Shook says he never does any talking while talking. Also, Wild and <laughs> Out is not the place to prove what you are about. That's just. No. What it takes off. What is there to take? I'm almost certain that Nick called Shug and gave him some weird ass story about there was something on the line here and that Shug is completely unaware of this entire situation. That's that's what I asked. Yeah. I was like, what, what's on the line? What is what are they, <laughs> what are they talking about? Situation. I like the hook though. Nick takes the MGK approach by sprinkling in a very catchy chorus and a diss track against Eminem so people will remember it. Also, this chorus has literally nothing to do with the diss track at all. <laughs> literally not a thing. At least MGK's made sense. Ain't no coming back, that's a fact. This the invitation. Hold Joe to lean back, don't get hit with this retaliation. Invitation and retaliation do not rhyme. That's like saying eagle and angle rhyme because they end the same way. Also, Nick sounds like he's whispering. Must be afraid to wake up DJ d ray because he knows even he would give this song a buzzer. Don't fuck he said he's scared to wake up DJ d ray Pills and smack. Cut the beat. Ain't about to relapse. Eminem is 11 years sober. Call Kim, somebody get Haley and that other kid you raising that ain't even your baby. Eminem actually raised two daughters that were not his. In addition to his biological daughter yes. Haley, he also raised Whitney and Elena, which were both rescued from drug addicted households. The fact mm. that Nick thinks Eminem adopting children is man. a diss, which is extremely insulting considering Whitney's biological father just died four months ago from the exact situation Eminem Damn. rescued her from calls for at least 50 cents. <laughs> ding, 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 ding,
bells and I didn't want to edit all that. Plus 50 bells. <laughs> it's also funny to hear Nick speak about somebody else's baby knowing how irritated he was with Whitney Williams for calling his most recent child an oops baby. But that's for a different story. My baby mama killed you off a decade ago. Every Eminem album for the last decade has either gone gold or platinum, sometimes going multiple platinum, mm -hmm. and has hit the number one spots on the US charts. Every Crazy. single one of them. Mariah Carey for the last 10 years has done the equivalent to jack shit. I called Joe to set you up he and said you jack fell for the job. Slim on show for the video because he tapped five to my squad. Earlier in the track, he told Fat Joe to stay out of the situation so he didn't get caught with the retaliation. But now we're saying that he called Fat Joe to set up Eminem? <laughs> which one is it? Also, Nick Cannon threatening to use multiple people to go at Eminem said, instead of going at him himself. Again. Seems to be a common theme right now. I heard your show forgot a video. You suck in the cop. You paid him off and laid him off. Now who really the op? Nick heard a rumor from one of his friends and assumes it's true. So he says it on a song that he knows will get millions of views. Part of the fun of diss tracks is Bar. people exposing stuff that they know is true that other people don't know. Kind of like when Pusha T said that Drake had a kid and like nobody really knew, but he knew. This is just lunchroom rumor talk. It's like me saying I heard the R. Kelly pissed on people and he did a song with Nick Cannon. So therefore R. Kelly must have pissed on Nick Cannon. <laughs> 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 the fuck? Either A, Nick knows that Suge Knight will never hear this song because he's getting another 20 years in prison for murder so he can just say whatever the fuck he wants to. Or two, Suge that Knight has crazy. gone completely fucking insane. No one in their right fucking mind would call Nick Cannon the new Tupac. No. Plus yeah. 100 sins. <laughs> fuck. How the fuck y'all got me battling Elvis Pussley? The new Tupac plus just called sins. Eminem Elvis Pussley. Can we just... Stop and think about this. Remember our video? Yeah. Hey, another chorus. Get used to that. Eminem the perfect name. Cause this nigga nuts. Most Eminems don't have nuts in them. In fact, there's over a dozen different types of Eminems, only two of which have nuts in them. Also, this is one of four bars that Hitman gets before it goes to another chorus. The song structure is all kinds of fucked. Yeah. Used to beef with Nickelodeon Nick. Nick Cannon is still the chairman of Teen Nick, which is run by Nickelodeon. So technically he still is Nickelodeon Nick. And even if that wasn't the case, Nick Cannon moved on over to America's Got Talent in 2009, which was the same year that the beef happened with Eminem, so it's a lose-lose situation either way. Bada boom, dotted beam. Onomatopoeias. Hey, onomatopoeias. another chorus, get used to that. Come on, Nick, that's Marshall. You don't need help. Yes. Yes, he does. That's why he called you. And Hitman. And Prince Easy. He said that's why he called you. And Hitman. Yo. And Prince Easy. Yo, this was actually pretty funny, No, man. it is, bro. He's... Going all the points. Charlie only gets four bars, just like Hitman did. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why Nick would put them in a situation to potentially ruin their career, only to give them a handful of bars. Not to mention they're the best fucking bars on the entire thing, and mm -hmm. if you blink, you're gonna miss their verse. Hey, another chorus. Get used to that. When I take a slow up the bitch that I'ma still eat it on my vulture. This man just said he would eat a dead woman's vagina in a diss track on Eminem. <laughs> What the fuck? I'm gonna write your name in your mouth. You 47 chasing clouds. Necrophilia this is, is the real. most ironic bar of the entire thing. I googled Prince Easy and I still don't know who he is. Fuck baby mama in a choker. Clearly Prince Easy has not heard Kim. I think fucking his baby mama in a choker wouldn't really affect him that much. I do the shit for my real niggas, not the white boys trying to act black. If you try to make rap music and you're white, you're trying to act black. There's multiple cast members on Wild and Noun who are white that rap. So I don't know if Nick agrees with this or what the fuck's going on here, but that's racers. <laughs> Hey, another chorus. Get used to that. In all seriousness, that's the sixth fucking chorus on this. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> Death, them hoes I'm beginning to coming. realize that Suge Knight has no fucking idea who Nick Cannon is. The only thing he runs is Wild and Out, and apparently Teen Nick. Okay, is it me or has Suge's brain been locked up since 1995? <laughs> the new Vanilla Ice? What's funny is if you know the situation, Suge Knight literally gets, I'm pretty sure, all of the royalties Bro. from Ice Ice Baby because he threatened to fucking murder Vanilla Ice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shug took me out on the balcony, started talking to me personally <laughs> on the balcony, on the balcony, no. high above, like 15 floors. Mm -hmm. He had me look over the edge, show me how high I was up there. On the balcony, Van Winkle says Suge Knight told him to sign over points from the song mm -hmm. to a man named Mario Lavelle Johnson. That's crazy. Who is Mario Lavelle Johnson? His name is listed. That's the guy that Suge Knight brought over there that is an acquaintance, acquaintance of mine that had nothing to do with that song. You signed over the rights? Signed over the rights to him so he, that Suge and them could get paid for it. Because every person <laughs> in the industry 
Street. That's crazy, bro. Shit, where you gonna go? If you listen closely, you can hear somebody breathing through their nose into the microphone, and it just really pisses me off. Also, why the fuck does Suge Knight think that Nick Cannon has connects in the music industry that Eminem does it? Also, also, right. Suge Knight really just fucked himself on parole right there. Eminem's a bitch for bringing bullshit up that's not true. Didn't Nick Cannon say that he heard that Eminem sucked a show for his cock and then fired him? <laughs> How are you gonna call somebody a bitch for thinking they said something that's not true and then proceed to say something that you don't know is true? And what was it that Eminem brought up that wasn't true? Is he talking about his balls being cut off? Because I'm pretty sure nobody believed that and knew it was kind of a joking matter. So this dude want a real target on his back. That's all it is. Suge just really fucked himself on parole right there. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Laugh. Super evil, evil villain laugh. 60 seconds remaining. Nick Cannon accidentally puts a voice recording of him talking to his lawyer about his own career. <laughs> 60 seconds remaining. This, this, was, this was good. No, you're not. Yes. In prison, mate. I am. I'm your bitch. I'm so sorry, honey. I didn't mean that. You know that, right? Yo! So Liv Mobile that just sent me this so solar wireless battery pack. Is, bro. I'm excited. Let's see yes. what's inside. I am! I'm your bitch. I'm so Thank you guys so much for stopping by in this video. Hopefully you all did enjoy this and had as much fun with this as I did. I had a lot of fun making this. I'm just having a blast with the whole this Nick Cannon Eminem mm -hmm. situation. It's all just fucking hilarious to me. Creepy. If you guys yeah, did like this video, please make sure to either. drop a like That's and comment dope. down below your mm -hmm. thoughts on it. That's how I know you guys really like it. I like your sound room. They are nice. hard to make and take There's a lot of time for me to like do. I do plan on making another room. one yeah. of these videos for Pray For Him, which just dropped in the middle of the space jam poster too. That's shit lit, bro. Because like I said, they take forever to make. So if you guys do one of those, make sure you with rather that, attractive, attractive females obtain tonight, monetary in value the in the form of music for myself that's why i understand a lot of these punchlines and a lot of different things in these videos that's and most crazy. people have clicked off this video by now but if you're still here i do have a store in the description below where that is funny bro Chris, that he just put that up in there description it's cryptorapper.com and go over there and check out some of the sales i got and just snag some of that but yeah that's all i wanted to say and i'm Nah, that's lit, bro. That was dope. That was bro. that was hella hilarious, bro. Heck yeah, man. Like, <laughs> it's so true. Everything he said, we kind of yeah, because it's like bro. that's some of the things we was already talking about. It's just like what? <laughs> this nigga repeated the just hooks. in small ways this six like, times on a diss track. <laughs> that mean he ain't had nothing to say for real, bro. Yo, hey, Nick. You lost, bro. Yeah, <laughs> him don't have to respond. We would love for him to respond, but we would. Of course, you lost, bro. Just you. This nigga oh. hadn't said a single word, and you took two L's. <laughs> ah, the original video is at sixteen percent like ratio. It's in the red. No, I think it's like ten percent. It That's got over crazy. a million views, but ten percent like ratio. That's crazy. Man. That's Nick, bro. That's ridiculous. You did. You tried valiantly but all good things must come to an end dun, dun, dun. and your rapping days are deleted <laughs> but now nah, man i need it <laughs> but now nah, man i like that video man you know what to do man hit the thumbs up button down below make sure you subscribe to the channel sure. follow your homies on instagram support us with the patreon and if we don't know nothing else we in the clutch, baby. Already. Already.